What is going on, YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics Collectibles, and it's Thursday, and you guys know what that means. We're here for the Hot 10 Comics of the Week, the breakdown. If you guys aren't familiar with this video, what I do is I take the 10 hottest comics of the week according to the Key Collector app, and I break them down one by one, letting you guys know if I'd be buying here at these prices, or of course, if I'd be staying away or possibly even selling. But before I get into the list, guys, I want to remind you I'm doing two giveaways right now. At the end of the month, we're giving away a Venom statue by Diamond Select Toys. And of course, the 2,000 subscriber giveaway contest, they will both be ending Friday. So if you haven't entered, make sure you watch those videos and follow directions to enter because after Friday, I'm going to start running them. With that said, let's go jump right in here into the breakdown. At number 10 this week is a copy of Uncanny X-Men number 10, the first appearance of Kazar. Now, I will say this, it is his first Silver Age appearance, and there's a rumor out there that Disney is developing a Savage Land project. That's right. I remember when I had, when I was a kid, I used to have people bring me comics all the time, and a lot of them, unfortunately, were Kazar comics, and I could not figure out why. Regardless, a CGC, 7.5. Recently sold last week for $1,625, up 23% since May. That is a whopping increase for this character. I'm not so sure why it's all of a sudden going up almost 25% in about six months. Even if they are developing a project for this character, I don't think it's going to be, be a big part of the MCU. Maybe there'll be a Disney Plus show. Regardless, I'm not paying $1,600 for the first appearance of Kazar in the Silver Age. You can get a low-grade copy, and if you find it for cheap, I'm okay. Other than that, I'm staying away here, guys, at this price. At number nine this week is a copy of Super Friends number seven. Holy freaking crap. The first appearance of the Wonder Twins. I'm shocked to see this book on this list this week. And a CGC 9.6 sold last week for 880 bucks, up 116% since April. For the love of me, I do not know why this book is so expensive. I know a 9.6 is a really high grade for this book. Regardless, I am not spending almost $1,000 on the first appearance of the Wonder Twins. I don't care if they show up in a DC movie or not. I'm staying away from this, guys. Again, if you can find a cheap copy that, you know, is a lower grade and you want to hold it just to hold it for the collection, great. Other than that, stay away. At number 8 is a copy of Vengeance number 1. The first appearance of America Chavez. And I have to tell you guys, I am really torn about buying this book. We obviously know she's going to be appearing in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. And we already saw her in the trailer. I don't know what Marvel plans to do with this character in the future. I'm assuming she's going to appear in Disney Plus shows. I'm assuming she might be in some other MCU movies. Regardless, a CGC 7.5. Recently sold last week for 300 bucks, up 140% since March. No doubt right now she is really hot because we saw her in that trailer for Doctor Strange 2. Again, I am really torn whether I want to pick up this book or not. My gut tells me to kind of stay away here at these prices since considering you've already seen her in these trailers. But again, if you want to own this book, I'm not going to stop you. I will say this. Pick it up in high grade, guys, because the 7.5 is not cutting it. So that's my two cents on this one. At number seven this week is a copy of Doctor Strange number one, the first technical solo title series officially of Doctor Strange. I know we talk about Doctor Strange 169 last week and how that is the first in his own title. However, his actually true first title is this Doctor Strange number one and a CGC 7.5 sold last week for 198 bucks, up 10% since December. And that's a nice chunk of change in just over a couple of months. I will say this, I preferably want you to buy that Doctor Strange number 169. That to me is the better buy. I don't mind you guys spending 200 bucks for a 7.5 copy of this, as long as it's complete and there's no resto. But again, I'd rather take that 200 bucks and get a nice mid-grade copy of Doctor Strange 169. So for me, this is a thumbs down. At number 6 this week is a copy of Fantastic Four, number 46, the first appearance of Black Bolt. And I told you guys about a month, month and a half ago when this book was on the list, I actually sold my copy probably a little bit too early. But regardless, I don't want to own this book right here. CGC 6.0, recently sold last week for $450, up 8% since May. And let me tell you guys why I don't want to own it. A lot of these Silver Age Fantastic Four keys are really, really hot right now, but this one really hasn't jumped. It hasn't really gone up too much in value, and I can't tell you why. To me, I'm not crazy about the character. That's why I sold my copy. I don't think that I want to put my 500 bucks into a character like this. I'd rather take that money and put it into something else. But again, if you're a Black Bolt fan and you love the FF, go ahead, buy this book, keep it in your collection. I just don't think we're going to get the monetary jump that everyone thinks. At number five is a monster, monster key. 
Of course, it is Amazing Fantasy number 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Aunt May, Uncle Ben, and everybody else. And a CGC 2.5. Recently sold last week for 55000 bucks, up 21% since January. This is the hottest book on the planet. I don't know how the hell it's not number one every week. It's crazy. We get a new sale. Seems like every month at a different grade, just keep going higher and higher and higher. You guys know I'm always a buyer of this book. I have my copy in a CGC 2.5 signed by the late, great Stan Lee. If you could pick this book up in any grade, as long as it's complete and no resto blue label, I'm always a buyer, no matter what the price, guys, as long as it's at fair market value. This is the biggest book there is on the planet right now, and it's a long-term hold for me. At number four is a copy of Black Panther number one, the first team appearance of Dora Malige. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It is Wakanda's special forces, Okoye and Nakia. Guys, I am not too familiar with this team. Obviously, I know who Okoye is. Regardless, a CGC 9.0. Recently sold last week for $150, bucks, up 67% since November. And I think now that Black Panther 2 is almost upon us and we're kind of getting trickling of information out there, these Black Panther books are starting to shoot up the charts. Again, I don't know if we're going to see this team in Black Panther 2. The rumor is that there's going to be some kind of tournament to, de- to see who the new Black Panther will be. Either way, guys, $150 is not a big deal for a 9.0 copy of this book. Again, I am not a buyer. I think that there's a lot of speculation around what's going to happen in this movie. So if this team doesn't show up, you're going to see a nice pop and a nice drop to me. Again, if you want to spend the 200 bucks or under to spe- just to spec on it, go for it. I'm just not that kind of buyer, so I'm staying away. At number three is a book we just talked about, Doctor Strange number 169. The first appearance of Doctor Strange in his own solo title after Strange Tales number 110. Gets a little confusing, right? Strange Tales 110 all the way up to 169 was all Doctor Strange books. Now, Doctor Strange, it goes over to his own title at number 169. So technically, they don't consider that his own first solo title. Regardless, a CGC 5.0 sold this week for 475 bucks, up 10% since June. Now, this, big, this book has been on the list for the last few weeks. I've been a buyer both those weeks. And I'm not changing my mind. I think this is this is perfect about what I want to spend the money on right here. A 5.0 went for 475. I told you guys last week that a 6.0 is really where I want to be at on this book. If you can find a 6.0 for around 550 bucks, I'm all over it. I totally think it's worth it. I'm 100% a buyer of this book at these prices. It is my favorite cover in the Silver Age. At number two is a copy of a book that I've been looking for for over a year right now. It is a copy of Daredevil number two, the second appearance of Electro, and the second appearance of Daredevil. A double key and even more so a phenomenal cover. Again, a beautiful one. Red cover. One of my faves. CGC 4.0. Sold last week for 900 bucks, up 41% since September. This book has been red hot ever since we've seen Matt Murdock show up in the MCU in Spider-Man No Way Home. I've been trying to hunt down a copy for a better part of a year. I cannot do it. It's too much money. I almost pulled the trigger on a really low grade copy for around 150 bucks, but it was just too low grade. I didn't want to spend the money. I want to try to get this thing in a 2.0, 2.5, and it's been impossible to find without shelling out a ton of money. Yes, I want to own this book no matter what. However, you got to be kind of picky in the amount you're willing to spend on it. I get it's a double a second appearance. I get it's a beautiful cover, but I don't just want to throw a grand around here and there just to throw it around. If I'm going to spend a grand, it better be a first appearance, not a second appearance, right? But yes, I want to own this book, just not at this price. And at the top spot for the second week in a row is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 210, the first appearance of Madam Web. And you guys know we heard that Dakota Johnson is going to take up the mantle of Madam Web in her own movie in a future Sony movie. In a CGC 9.6, sold last week for 800 bucks, up 10% since the prior week. Guys, I told you guys about a month and a half ago, went into my LCS and picked up a copy for a 6.5 for about 65 bucks. Now a 9.6 is going for around 800. Yes, that's a lot of money. Again, I am no, not spending 800 bucks on a copy of this book no matter what grade it is. It's, to me, it just seems foolish. Again, if you could find yourself a nice copy for a 7.5 or around that kind, go for it. Then it's worth it. Other than that, I am nowhere near spending that kind of money on this book. Again, I want to own it. I want to own it for the movie and everything that happens thereafter. But if you're going to throw on almost $1,000 on this book, I think you're nuts. So keep that in mind. Keep the money in your pocket. Go get a nice, decent mid-grade copy. Find plus, find, you know, 6-0 copy. That's more than enough you need.
That's it for the Hot 10 list, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, some great books on the list this week. And, of course, some books I'd really stay away from if I were you. Regardless, I always enjoy doing these things. And I want to mention, if you are not a current subscriber of the channel, you're really missing out. Because there's some awesome stuff that we're giving away. And there's going to be a lot of stuff that you're missing. Last thing I want to mention, I opened up the channel memberships. If you guys have not watched that video and you're interested, you're going to get some cool free stuff from me if you're a channel member. With that said, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching. Stay mighty, and I'll talk to you guys soon.